Hi, so earlier this week, I found myself at Castelli's Castle in Pergo. I walked out my back door, basically, of our accommodations and just went for a walk and ended up winding through this castle area with all sorts of corridors and hallways and labyrinths and stairs. And it was amazing, it was so cool. So I wanted to do more on it. So here's my video on Caselli Castle. We'll start with kind of my first day of getting lost here and then we'll move back into kind of what I find today. Hope you like it because this place is really cool. I went on a little walk from the rooftop of where we're staying. It's a whole labyrinth of little narrow corridors that brought me to like a market, different cafes, like built into this fortress. I don't know how I'm gonna get back though. I have no idea how I got here. I might be lost, but this is so awesome. What a beautiful place to be lost. Wandering firefighters gonna wander, I guess. This might be one of the coolest places I've been. I've been to a lot of cool places. And I'm just really enjoying this. Just a walk by myself while the girls are in the pool. And to be honest, they didn't want to walk very far, not knowing how far it was going to be. So I just kept walking and kept walking. It's awesome. It's if I get back to where we're staying, because I've taken so many different turns. I have no idea. This is amazing. It's like I'm in a different time. I think I'm walking to a fortress. This is gonna sound really nerdy. I, I usually don't care if I sound nerdy, but it feels like I'm in like a video game, like Zelda or like uh, Elder Scrolls, something like that. I know, it sounds nerdy. It feels like I'm gonna have a player character up here to talk to to send me on a quest or something. <laughs> I'd take it, I'd take the quest. Let's do this. Back to the drawing board. This looks familiar. I think I'm on the way back, but I've thought that before. I got a really good feeling about this one. I'm just gonna start yelling Bree's name to see if she can hear me over these walls. Hey, Bree! Is that a donkey? Well, this is awesome. Hello. I recognize those chairs. Those are like the same chairs at the place I'm staying. We're gonna take that as a little clue. Hey, Bree. Oh, I think that's Alyssa down there. I think we're back. I just gotta figure out how to get down there. Man, that was a good journey. I made it back though. This is where we're staying. Came back to the castle. I wanted to learn more about it. It sounds like it was built in the 1500s and the reason it has so many tight corridors and stuff was for security i couldn't figure out you know how to get out of here and that was by design so it worked pretty well hey buddy why the long face so it came a different way this time we're gonna go inside the castle before I was inside like the church. Ah, and there's Bree up there exploring with me. This 
castle was built by the Venetians. And it was built in the center up on this mountain to give really good views from every angle. So it was a strategic placement. It was a fortress. This is where we're staying. So our little resort area is built into old remains of the castle. So you can see pretty much all around the island from this point. This place is enormous and just looking at this one portion of a wall, how much manpower and work did that take back then? Jeez. So they also built all sorts of secret passages here. I wish I could find them, but they're secret. That's why they're called secret passages. If we find one, I might blast it on YouTube. It's not a secret anymore. It's also cool because a lot of people live here. It's pretty awesome. This is a pretty cool place to live. I think donkeys go that way. Bree calls it donkey way. Oh no. My 10 year old Tevas could not withstand 15th century castle hiking. Now, let's get back, I guess. Not only is this place really cool, but they also have like cafes and wineries and markets built into it. So, we're gonna go check out one of the market places here, real quick. See if they have any sandals. Would you look at this? Got a fixed sandal to get me through the trip. He was very cool, very cool. We had to buy some stuff, mainly because he fixed my sandal. We wanted to help support him. And he gave us directions to get back because we're kind of on a time crunch now. Hmm, but I forgot which way he said. Ah. So if you get to Santorini, uh, go visit Castelli Castle. Here go. It's really unique, it's really cool. You can get lost walking around for hours. It's pretty shady here because of the walls. The breeze comes through here. It's a really hot day, but we have a really nice breeze in the shade. Come check it out. It's, it's one of those things that wasn't even on our radar until we got moved here uh, with our accommodations. I'm glad we did, because this has been one of the coolest parts of it, I think. I've loved it. It feels like you're in a different century.